Ultimately, these lads may be racing each other, but they're all trying to be their best and they're all trying to represent Ireland with pride on the international stage and they are off in what I consider the race of the championships. And it looks like it could be a slow one, Ronan. It does at the moment, but uh, we'll see how it plays out now over the next couple of hundred metres. Uh, Joe Warren eating on the inside and Tobin has gone. It's not slow anymore. Who's going to follow? He's already got a metre or two metres. Coscarin and Warren there in second place. Robinson just behind that, but all that pre-race chat about Tobin being the strength athlete, well, he's going to make this a strong running race here. Coscarin in second. Johnny Wan then the domestic... Uh, uh, athlete here who's been ripping it up in third place from Clan of Harriers and then fourth place there is Paul Robinson. I absolutely love this tactic from Sean Tobin. He has thrown caution to the wind and it literally is the wind he's running in here. Sean Tobin has taken this on 43 seconds, 44 as he goes to 300. It's going to be a sub 60 first lap. We haven't seen this all too often in nationals and he has laid down the gauntlet here and it is his training partner Andrew Coskrin who has done the field a favour and as the race favourite really he has stepped up on behalf of the field and towed everyone back and Paul Robinson will be saying thank you very much for doing that and Coskrin you chase down Tobin and I'll try and come over the top and out kick you. They went through the first 400 metres in about 58, 59 seconds. Yeah, Tobin said to the rest of the field, you may beat me today, but you're going to have to bleed to do it. He has gone straight to the front here, and he is towing, towing this field to a serious time here. He's got at least 50 metres on the rest of the field. Cosker in there is still leading that, so he's basically uh, leading the second pack and going into the wind for all those athletes. Johnny Wan there in third, and Robinson is taking closer order there in third place. Tobin, not known for his kick, although he did outkick Cosker uh, in the Moyne Mile, but he is flying away from this field, and this is an incredible front-running performance, a brave performance here from Sean Tobin. Sean Tobin is an athlete made of iron. He's finished 10th in a European cross country over 10 kilometers, and he is up against these more speedier milers in behind who have deferred to him really over the first two laps. It's not an outrageous pace. Some of them should have been able to go with this. I think Andrew Coskerin tried to, but honestly, I don't think he can. Sean Tobin passes 800 meters in about 158, and out of the pack, Paul Robinson, back from the dead in his career, has come on. He said, no more. I am going after you, Sean Tobin. I may train with you. I may like you, but I want to beat you. This is my national title to win. It's been eight years since Paul Robinson won the national 1500 meter title, and he wants a second one after all he's been through. Yeah, 550 metres after on here. Tobin is flying away from this field. It's 15, 20 metres back to Paul Robinson and another 15, 20 metres back to Coscarin. There's the three training partners, one, two and three. It may not finish in that order. Johnny Wan then in fourth and Kay McPhillips, young Kay McPhillips in fifth place running Gainley. Andrew Milligan just behind that, but the real action is up the front. Tobin is starting to uh, be caught slightly by Paul Robinson, who still looks in great shape. Coscarin in that second group there, uh, leading that out. A lap to go, 2.44 on the clock. 2.44 on the clock, it's going to be some time, it's the equivalent of the sub four minute mile they're about to run in the gale force conditions and right now it's the hunted and the hunter and Paul Robinson is the hunter, the same coke as athlete. he stayed the heck out of Kildare for the last few weeks to be able to participate here, he was training in Sligo, he was training in Dublin, Sean Tobin's gone out so hard and Paul Robinson looks to be sitting pretty with 2.50 to run, does Tobin have anything left in the locker, he always comes home hard, it's about 30 metres back to Andrew Coskrin, Johnny Wan coming out of the pack is going to challenge him for bronze but this is all about the gold medal race Paul Robinson has been through so much two athletes at different ends of their career at the moment but both locked together as they turn for home Tobin and Robinson Robinson and Tobin Paul Robinson out on the outside of lane one he has the speed but Tobin might have the strength neck and neck shoulder to shoulder who's gonna get it Paul Robinson looks to have it but can he last Tobin's coming back on the inside Robinson and Tobin to the line can't separate them what a race what an incredible run there by the two athletes. Coskin getting up for third with Johnny Wan in fourth, Kim McPhillips in fifth, Ty Donnelly in sixth, Milligan and Keane battling it out for seventh. But what an incredible performance. It looked like Robinson was going to blow by with 80 metres left to run, but Tobin, the strength athlete, tried to hold him off. We didn't know at various points there were going, hey, he's won it, he's won it. And over the line, the two of them collapsed. I couldn't tell you who was after winning that one, but they won it in 343.91. That's everything out there. What a race. I'm speechless at the quality of that effort. The two men went to the absolute depths. Paul Robinson, the champion, the comeback king, and he roars. He lets out a massive roar in a quiet century stadium, Morton Stadium. Paul Robinson back on top eight years after his last title. I am delighted for the 29-year-old from St. Cocos.